Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We have an update for the cosmic desktop environment as it nears closer to its alpha. It has done some changes within its store. So if we type store, we get, if we type store over here, sorry about that. It's recording the wrong monitor. So I have to sort of adjust. You can see that it says zero applications are installed, but it now has categories on the side uh, to be able to do this. And I'm supposed to have something installed to be able to get it to show my current installed applications, but I can't remember exactly what it was. I'm actually going to go find that out real quick, see if we can get it fully working. All right, so we got it working. Uh, it can now show my packages that I have installed, if I have any in the correct, uh, you know, area. You can see installed apps are all right here. Other than that, I don't think there is much installed at all in terms of graphics or anything like that. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, their tiling application seems to be working out fine over here, which is nice. And they've done, I guess, a bit of optimizing in the back end like anything would do. Um, one of the good features that I'm glad they did was minimizing applications. In Fedora, it would show a live preview of what's on the dock. So maybe they changed that. Who knows? Time and language, system accounts, sound is still a to-do, which is not good, but we got to give them time. Ooh, let's test the screenshot utility. Ready? Hey, there it is. So it saves the picture to documents. Uh, you have the full screen window and, of course, able to select. Look at that. Cancel that out. We are able to record again, and it's actually smooth now, which is nice. That hasn't regressed. I'm still not able to use the battery stuff, even though when I had the System76 stuff installed, it still didn't work, so I don't know what's required for that. But they say they are... A uh, developer is going to try to make it so it just uses Power Daemon or Power Profile, which is nice. Um, check out some of the other apps here real quick, see if there's anything different overall. Not that I can see on that app anyway. Let's try Cosmic Files. Can we minimize this? Yeah, it just minimizes now on itself, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, it looks good. There's settings, theme, match desktop, show hidden files is there now. That's good. That actually works. New window, tab, move to trash. Operations. What is that? Must be like when you're deleting something and you need to, you know, view it. Yeah. So that's pretty solid. Does it support control C and V? Does not. Uh, basic stuffs are still left out, unfortunately. There's still time to add it. The beta or alpha, the alpha, sorry, is supposed to be released sometime in May. They, uh, they told us this a while ago. I don't think this is this one. Road to Alpha. Um, is there a blog I can jump to? Blog post. Yeah. More Alpha, more fun. So they pretty much have finished the hybrid graphics, the minimize, restore, the new wallpapers. And they're going to showcase these in a different blog post. The tiling applet is done. Let's show some of that, I guess. Let's open up a bunch of windows. Click it. Turn it on. And... Well, I did turn it on, right? Toggle floating window. Move. Floating window. Active hint. Why is this not working? Okay. Uh, touchpad. So input device settings. They added touchpad support. Really? Well, it's too bad the tiling would work. And there's no settings. 
for that. Let's jump into settings and go and take a look at input devices and touchpad. They did, look at that. Wow, they even have touchpad acceleration. Disable while typing. Tap to click is there. There's all your swipes. So your, you know, your stuff's for your touchpad so you can get things done. What about mouse? Not bad. Keyboard inputs, still the same though. Final stretch. So the Cosmic Tornal is a terminal's not done. Yeah, they want to include support for dragging and dropping file paths into the terminal, as well as confirming dialogues if the user attempts to close the terminal while the process is running. Cosmic Edit. To finish up the Cosmic Text Editor, we're in the process of adding spell check and the ability to restore a session and a feature to revert all changes in your session. Nice. Apps and I an applet icon. New icons for cosmic apps and applets are on the way. Some are completed. That is right, some are completed. Uh these icons, this icon is new specifically right here. And there's a few new ones as well. Cosmic files, MVP designs are complete and implementations is underway. More styling will be needed to be implemented to match the final design. But here's the current state of the application screenshots. Yeah. Uh, theming. Support was added to Cosmic's implementation of XGG Portal that enables other application toolkits to adhere the dark mode, light mode, and user config accent colors. Light theme support has also been added to Cosmic Comp for stack headers and tabs. One last cool thing I discovered is this. So this is the new workspace thingy, I guess. That's kind of cool. There's one and two and go back and forth in between them. I like it. And another thing is, can we actually do, there we go. So, I mean, this is not new whatsoever. It's just, this finally works for me and I'm very happy about it. Just a short video with some updates you know i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button subscribe we're going to be doing more videos here soon just need my finger to heal a little bit more and i'll be good to go bye everybody